I treated your wounds. Itachi is dead. You won. We've met once before, although we were enemies then. Don't worry. I don't hold Daedara's death against you. I am not your enemy. I brought you here in order to tell you something. Something? Yes. It's about Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> you think you know everything about your brother, but you actually don't. How do you know about Itachi? All right. I suppose I should start by introducing myself. I, like you, am an Uchiha survivor. And one of the few who know the truth about your brother. What was that? The Amaterasu, which Itachi seems to have implanted in you. <gasps> Leave it to Itachi to set a post-mortem trap. I can't believe how well he plans ahead. What are you talking about? In order to keep me away from you, Itachi placed a jutsu in you. He really must have wanted to stop you hearing the truth from my lips. <sighs> what are you talking about? Itachi did something to you before he died. <gasps> At the very end, he transferred his own ocular powers to you. What are you saying? Is there a point to all this? Why would Itachi do such a thing? Don't you get it? <gasps> he was trying... to protect you. Protect? To protect me? Are you kidding? He's my enemy. He killed our parents, destroyed our clan, and he... I told you. You think you know about your brother, but you know nothing. Shut up! What do you know about Itachi? Itachi did mention it, did he not? He was not alone that night. <gasps> then you are... That's right. I am Madara Uchiha. <gasps> I know everything about Itachi. I know what he thought, what he wished, what he loved and what he risked to fight. I know all of it. Your duty is to hear about the truth and life of Itachi Uchiha. It's your obligation. He, Itachi fought me. He's tortured me for years. And it's a fact that he destroyed our clan. He destroyed the Uchiha. And if that were a mission he'd received from the Hidden Leaf Village? <gasps> That's just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. A mission? That's right. Itachi completed his assignment that night by slaughtering everyone. I still don't understand. <laughs> All ears now, I see. He, Itachi, ended up being a sacrificial pawn in a long-standing power struggle. Sacrificial pawn? The Hidden Leaf Village. It is a large village now, but waves of history churn at its base. In particular, discrimination towards the Uchiha. Discrimination towards the Uchiha? Originally, the Hidden Leaf Village was formed by a group of ninja who'd previously been in conflict. Our Uchiha clan was among them. When the Hidden Leaf Village was founded, our clan held central power along with the other clans. But after we failed to take the seat of the first Hokage, the Uchiha gradually fell from power. I, the Uchiha leader, despaired at our fall, and at last, I left the village. 
After I'd gone, the Uchiha continued to lose power. And finally, they were treated as nuisances in the village. In the end, the Uchiha weren't needed. They were discriminated against. Of course, there were those who couldn't accept that. In order to retake power for the Uchiha, and above all else, to regain their pride, they hatched a plan. A plan? To take over the Leaf Village with your father as leader. A coup d'etat, you could say. The Uchiha clan. A coup d'etat. And my... My father, the leader. The Hidden Leaf Village leaders caught wind of the plot and sent in a spy to watch the Uchiha. That spy was your older brother, Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> the Uchiha clan or the Hidden Leaf Village. It's hard to imagine what Itachi felt as he chose between them. He ultimately chose the Hidden Leaf Village. So why? Why would Itachi betray the Uchiha? The Third Great Ninja War. What he saw made Itachi put the peace and stability of the village first. All wars are hell. The village leaders took advantage of Itachi's feelings and gave him a mission. That mission was the eradication of the entire Uchiha clan. <gasps> At the time, Itachi worried and fretted and agonized. He was mired in terrible distress. Considered rationally, one could never raise his hand against fellow clansmen. But if the Uchiha coup d'etat were to go ahead, the village would crumble and other villages would attack. It could have easily become the trigger for the fourth great ninja war. The selfish act of the Uchiha clan would lead to the deaths of many innocents. That had to be avoided at all costs. And so, Itachi made his decision that he himself would drop the curtain on his own clan's history, which led to that night. It was a mission to become known as a criminal who murdered his own clan, to bear the burden of disgrace, all planned. It was all part of the mission. Itachi brilliantly discharged the plan, his mission, except for a single mistake. Even after he closed his heart and become a demon of destruction, there was one person, just one, whom Itachi could not kill. His little brother. Afterwards, Itachi appealed to the third Hokage beseeching him to protect you. He fled the village after threatening other leaders never to harm Sasuke. He worried about you above all else. That's a lie. It's got to be a lie. It is the truth. You're lying. He tried to kill me over and over. If Itachi really had wanted to kill you, you would most certainly be dead. And Itachi had a reason to pressure you. <sighs> mean Itachi arranged everything about that battle he wanted to free you of the curse mark and Orochimaru and by having you defeat him he wanted to set you up as the hero who avenged the Uchiha clan I won't believe it he's Itachi's evil he's a criminal he slaughtered our clan and became an Akatsuki! That was part of Itachi's plan as well. Become an Akatsuki, then spy on the organization from the inside. Even after betraying his clan and leaving, Itachi's heart lay with a hidden leaf. And most of all, with you. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie! This effect can never happen! It isn't a lie. He thought more of you then. Stop it! It's all a bit! You're alive, aren't you? <laughs> A 
As a result, your eyes didn't see through Itachi at all. Itachi killed his friends, his superiors, his lover, his father, and his mother. But his little brother alone, he could not kill. He killed all of his own emotions, save for crying tears of blood and slaughtered his own flesh and blood. But he just couldn't bring himself to kill you. Do you understand what that means? To him, your life was more precious than even the village. Until the very moment of his death. No, even after he died, by allowing you to defeat him, he achieved revenge against the Uchiha clan by making you out to be the Leaf's hero. Ravaged by illness, Painfully aware of his impending death, he forcefully prolonged his life with medication. He had to fight you and die in front of you. For the peace of the Hidden Leaf Village. And most of all, for you, Sasuke Uchiha. He desired to die a criminal and a traitor. Accepted disgrace in the place of honor and hate in the place of love. And Itachi still died with a smile on his face. He bequeathed to you the Uchiha name, still fooling you to the very end. That is the truth behind Itachi Uchiha. That is how your brother lived. What's wrong, Sasuke? What do you mean, what's wrong? Today is the day you promised to check my shuriken jutsu, isn't it? Sorry, I have an important mission tomorrow. I have to study, so... Oh, you're a liar! <sighs> Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> so to make up for it, I have to piggyback you? Man. Hey, big brother. You're gonna help me with my training next time for real, right? I will. But I'm going to start getting assigned missions. We're not gonna have as much time to ourselves anymore. That's okay. As long as we can be together once in a while. Then it's okay. Sasuke. You are... Hyle. Uh. Oh. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it. We have shed the skin of the snake. We are no longer the heavy. From this day on, our team will be the hawk. We are the Taka. Taka shall have but one motive. We exist. To destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. The hawk screamed.
Just once, into the void. It was a sad voice. An empty voice. And... A voice full of rage. The boy who bore the burden of his ruined clan now quietly turns a lethal knife on that place. Now the curtain rises on war. The revenge of truth, a reckoning of the past. Mourning for his dead brother in his heart. The tale of a new Sasuke Uchiha begins now. He's here. And Sasuke? He looked well. He had ample control over the power of the Sharingan. The time is ripe. The Hidden Leaf Village should also start to act soon. What about the Nine Tails? Take him down with Conan. Do not fail. Understood. Be on your guard just in case. Naruto Uzumaki. He is no longer just a boy, and now he has rather considerable jutsu, as well as many comrades. It won't be easy. It's useless telling us to fear our target. Pain has never lost. <laughs> well, that's true. Chapter 6. The Tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Hey, Tsunade. 